Welcome back to Scotty's Fishing Life. Tips and tricks for every species of fish. Please subscribe to my channel and share with all your mates. And hit the bell notification so you go catch your next species of fish. And keep an eye out for my special tip in this video. And hey guys, check out our other YouTube channel, The Hook and the Cook, with my good mate, Paul Brahenny. And this is our first fish. We've been sitting here for about 15 minutes burling. So, hopefully we've got a good snapper. Well, this is a good method, because wherever you are along the coast, it'll work. It's just a matter about finding a nice little lump and dropping your pick on it and fishing back to the deep water. Now it looks like a nice snapper. Absolutely beautiful. It's a fantastic snapper. Fishing down the burley trail. Absolutely great result. Okay, the gear needed for fishing your um, baits down the burley trail is pretty simple. I'm using a Shimano 4000 bait runner, spooled up with Snyder 6 kilo line or 12 pound. I find mono works better for this type of uh, fishing. To match to that, I've got a beautiful little Shimano Snapper 732 in three to six kilo. And that's a great little combination for this style of fishing. Now the rig I'm using is very simple. It's just a ball sinker sitting on top of the hook. And that just allows the bait to float naturally down the burley trail and uh, it works really well. I find it quite deadly. The bait we're using today is pilchards. In Australian waters, snapper are a very popular fish and highly prized by anglers, and anglers will spend many hours targeting snapper. As juveniles, they have bright blue spots on their body that become less distinctive with age, and they have a background colour of a pinkish silver to red. Large fish may have a large bony bump on their head and a fleshy bulge on their snout. Snapper are a popular angling species and as regarded as an excellent table fish. Common names include the Cockney Brim, Reddies and Squire, which are the names of juvenile snappers during the different stages of their life cycle. Common in coastal and offshore waters from the Capricorn Coast, North Queensland, up in this area. And you'll find them all the way down along New South Wales coast and into Victoria, right round Tasmania and across South Australia, over to Western Australia up to Coral Bay. Large numbers of snapper are also found in the the islands of New Zealand. The only difference over there, they don't seem to have the, uh, the bony bump on their head or the fleshy bulge on their snout. Both here in Australia and New Zealand, snapper are highly prized, both as an angling species and a commercial species also. The rod and the bait holder and it's just taken off with one of my plastics. So basically just the movement of the boat seems to work. And um, yeah, hopefully I land this guy, he's pretty deep and he's taken me for a good run. There he goes again. I've just got that drag set hopefully just right. I've got the sea anchor out there, so I just hope I don't uh, tangle around there. So this will be my first legal snapper, if it is a snapper, on soft plastics that I've caught in Sydney. It's coming up now. Looking pretty good. Good fish. Got my leader halt. Oh yes, baby! Woohoo! Now that's a red! 
Look at that! That's my holy grail of fish. I can die a happy man now. <laughs> now the gear we use for soft plastics fishing for snapper is quite simple. Using a 4,000 thread line spooled up with 10 kilo braid. I've got a 20 uh, pound fluorocarbon leader on there. The rods are five to eight kilo uh, rod, so nice and light to use and you can spin with it all day. So important to have the right gear. When we look at our lures, you want a, a good mix of soft plastics, some whites, some greens, some oranges as you can see, and a, a different variety of uh, jig heads as well in different weight sizes. Now, when you're putting a soft plastic onto a jig head, it's rather simple. All we do is pick up the plastic, we lay the hook along the side of the body of the plastic and work out roughly where it's got to come out. And then turn him around and just slide the hook in the front of the plastic nice and slow. Take your time doing this so you get it right and then just come out through the top of the plastic and he should lay nice and flat. There you have it, beautiful Sydney ready. The method I'm going to be using today is a simple Paternoster rig. Now we've got the Paternoster rig uh, on another one of our YouTube clips which will show you exactly how to tie that. It's just a standard snapper sinker with a dropper of about 600mm up to your hook. Okay, to that we've got a, a number two circle hook and we're just putting beautiful pilchard baits on. A little half hitch around the top works well. So they'll be fished on the bottom. And uh, Nathan's just measuring fish now. Just checking his catch. He's got to do this with all of them. Okay, there's the uh, result out of our first trap this morning. What fish species will it be next week? Tune in and please subscribe. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.